CloudTBirds.com here of Head Women's Track and Field Coach Ted Smith's previewing the Thunderbird season opening meet this weekend at the Holiday Inn Open. Coach, you've been here for 36 years between you and Coach Kitchener. You do have nearly eight decades worth of coaching. What keeps you coming back and makes it fun for you every year? Wow, sounds like I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I love the challenge of uh, seeing what people can do. and It takes a lot of hard work. and uh, So just the challenge of trying to help athletes improve is what keeps me coming back, and I love it. You know, What are some goals and expectations for you heading into your first indoor meet of 2017? <laughs> Well, it's, uh, it's always interesting. Usually the first goal of the first week is actually get to the meet and, and get their feet wet, so to speak. Uh, you know, get the nerves out and see where we're at. It's a starting point. Uh, I can tell right now some of the ones are, that have been working out a little bit and some have not done very much over Christmas. So there will be some people that are ready and some that uh, will have a wake-up call, and that's, that's where we start. Is there anything particularly special about the Holiday Inn Open, uh, reason you like going there? Oh, Nebraska runs a great quality meet. It's at the University of Nebraska, so Nebraska will be there. It's a banked 200 meter track. It's got a wonderful uh, you know, audience. They'll have pretty much a full house on Saturday, so it's just great to run at a place where they run a quality meet against quality competition and uh, it's on time and the athletes will get an opportunity to get into big time track and field right off the start. And who are some athletes you believe they can have strong showings right out of the gate for you? Well, we would expect our sophomores to be more prepared than the freshmen. So I would ex expect Naoka Clunas, our thrower who signed with Minnesota, to open up big. Uh, I definitely expect her to well. Marjorie Thompson, again, I expect her to have a good solid first meet. Uh, Renee Summerfield, another sophomore, I think will have a, a good solid meet. Um, the others are kind of hard to predict right now. Uh, I do expect good things from them. The freshmen, again, it'll be a challenge to step into that competition right off. And I hope to be surprised uh, on a few of them, uh, but I can't really predict much right now. So you work closely with the men's team as well, right? Yes. Uh, some male athletes you uh, think can ha have a good weekend this, this right. weekend? Right. Well, well. Uh, Moses should have a fantastic weekend. He's coming off second to finish the National Cross Country, so he should be ready to shine right off the bat. Uh, Virginia Campbell, another sophomore or a sophomore that we have on the guys' team who's already been through a, a year with us. Uh, he should be prepared to throw well, uh, especially in the shot put. Vishon uh, is another freshman thrower that we have. And in the shot put, uh, he's a kid that had his finger taken off a little bit beginning of the year, and he's back throwing, and he's looking really good right now. And uh, I, I expect us to have some other solid performances as, as well. It's kind of early to tell, but uh, those athletes should step it up and be ready to go. Yeah, how is it exciting is it to just get it underway? You got to stop the practice and actually go compete. Now? Yeah, it's very exciting. It's always exciting, and the kids are excited because now we've you know we've been practicing since October the first, so actually to be able to get to a meet and compete and f just feel that atmosphere and stuff, it's it's exciting. It'll be a good weekend regardless of the outcome because now we'll know where we're at and what we needed to go as do as we go forward.